What do you want me to do? Just sit here and take it like a bitch? He's not even drunk. He's not even drunk. But he's driving drunk. And welcome back to another Stream This, where we stream shows to let you know if you should stream this. I'm JP Lambiase. I'm Javier Lopez. And I'm your voice of God, to the hand of God today, Aaron Briggs. At the end of episode nine, did you make any, ge- we didn't make any guesses on who was driving the car. I, I guessed. I was really wrong. Yeah, uh, we thought it was like maybe one of the Cobra Kai senseis or something. Very lame though. We should have knew it was like, you ruined my life, LaRusso. Mike Barnes yeah. coming out. Yeah, I was, I didn't expect it. And I still don't really understand how he got into the car like how did he did they ever have to return it don't you rent these things like he's assuming way too much you burned my thing down he's like no he didn't terry did he burned down your store he's made all of our lives a living hell oh i hate terry now i say we go beat that ponytail bastard's ass tonight oh i just hate whoever did this also what was his plan when he got into that uh stretch limo he had Jeep? no plan he was just driving i'm gonna shake him up a little bit where was he going I, mike barnes was such a three-dimensional character turning not even 2d 1d he turned into like like, I'm angry man. I will fight and, and, and no plan. I'm going to beat this guy up and let's break into his house. What do you want me to do? Just sit here and take it like a bitch? He's not even drunk. He's not even drunk. But he's driving drunk. He's just upset. He's just, his eyes are still glassed over from trying to salvage his fucking furniture shop that was burned to the ground, you know? I'm broke. Also, why did it take so long for him to confront Daniel? Uh, couldn't you have just like called him and said, hey bro, my business burned down. Was it you? But no, let me random on a random night hijack your awesome limo van. And then they leave Daniel. Like, Daniel's, I'm not a part of this. But wait, now I'm kind of stranded. Yeah. I get how these moments need to happen to add suspense to this entire episode. But Mike Barnes, man, he came out of nowhere like a raging lunatic. I'm going to go over there and beat the living shit out of him. Okay, here's something interesting. Okay, so now we're in Terry Silver's house. And here's Sensei Kim. Thank you. You're on the verge of fulfilling that promise. She lacked so much personality. And the content of this message. I like this scene though, this whole door scene. This is just like a setup punchline right here. Well played. Well played show. So now we got breaking and entering, trespassing, and um, unprovoked, like Terry said. This is yeah. unprovoked. I, I get that he's got a big house, but what do they do? What are all the other ninjas doing there? <laughs> yeah. Are, like, are they are, are, like slumber parties are they, are they playing like Xbox in the back or something? Like, yeah. Who wants to hang out with their boss after work? And yeah. still, we don't know if he burned the house down. I still don't even know if he bur- burned the building down. D- we just assume that. There's yep. no evidence. There's no... Nothing. There's probable cause. But there's no evidence. And why would he go after Barnes anyway? He's got no beef with Barnes. On the off chance that Barnes assumes Daniel did it. (laughs) So he can cause some really quick rivalry. It was about three minutes of convincing him that, like, we didn't do it. Oh, you didn't? No. (laughs) It's just like, okay, well, who did it then? Well, we think Terry did it. Well, let's go over there and beat his ass. Real quick, look at this. Look at this dude. This Bruce Lee and the Beatles... He's Bruce Lennon. <laughs> and, then, and then this is the most tragic thing. Barnes is just knocked out immediately, out of commission. I'm like, I just want to see the bad boy fight. Why have him in the, the episode? Why have him in this season? Hey, hey, thank God. This scene went nowhere. Um, Why is Alabama in L.A.? Yeah, this, this truck full of goons comes out, and he's like, man, I just need a ride. Can you do me a solid? You got to give me a ride. I do, huh? Yeah, why is he such a dick? He's got a flatbed truck. He can't put the drunk guy in the back. Be like, yeah, man, I'll give you a ride back to town. No problem. Yeah. And then look at this. Look at this bullshit right here. Hey, right. the car's coming. Let me jump in front wow. of it. Whoa, 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 look at that. What were they oh, thinking here? Oh, freeze frame that. That's the logo of the season six. This is the essence of Eagle Fame. <laughs> jump into <laughs> oncoming traffic. Why the fuck did you just run in front of my vehicle? This scene should have had a dun 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 dun. I love this character. Dun 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 dun. Mr. LaRusso, come with me if you want to live. And then, of course, Stingray has to have his little moment, as he does. Uh-huh. Look at him crawling up the he stairs. He assaults minors. Yeah, he, he <laughs> gives me, like, beast vibes, like X-Men beast vibes. I, I just got to give it up to this actor for being so, like, like look, he's yeah. actually make, doing the moves. Because, once again, budget. <laughs> He's just charging at this big guy, and, and, and he just kicks him. But what about what about LaRusso and them? They, they allowed him to like attack minors. Yeah, so basically their whole MO is like, let's take down Terry. We got to expose him. We have no evidence that he beat up Stingray. So they're trying to find the footage in the dojo. They're hacking it. 
All right, cringe moment for me is every time in a show in our movie when they're hacking. What are you doing on that computer? He lifts up the computer. Uh, There's got to be some typos happening, right? Like, oh yeah, it's just like, are you slapping the keyboard? You know, they actually hire professional people that actually know about that subject for uh, shows and whatnot. Yeah, they didn't do that in this show. No, no. (laughs) Oh, and look at this! Look at this! Look at this! All this betrayal. They got snacks. Did they call him penis breath? Maybe because they don't call me penis breath. Uh, yeah, and he's like, at least they don't call me penis breath. And then the guys are like, penis breath, shut up. You know what would have been really sealed the deal with that kid? If someone just popped him a Tic Tac. Problem solved. Oh, yeah, dude. If they started calling me penis breath, bro, you would never see me without gum in my mouth. I would <laughs> just be <laughs> chewing all day. Who's got penis breath now? If you got called fat ass, you have to work out. You have to go on a diet. Yeah. Penis breath. Instantly solved. Easy fix. Anyway, I think we uh, we made our point. All right, so everything. Oh, everything's... Pl- let's just best fight moment right here. Kyler slams Hawk's head onto the table and then drags it across. Dimitri lifts up the what is it? The tablet. The, the, per- the monitor. The monitor yeah. at the perfect time. That that's beautiful. That's some Jackie Chan choreography right there. And then yeah. Dimitri, Dimitri. What what skills, man? I think he got his little payback. He came on, and I'm like, that dude did some training. That actor did some training to make those moves. Unless there's some weird stand-in that, like, Dimitri lookalike that's playing that. They, I don't think they have that in the budget, remember? Protect the fragile iPad and the fragile young daniel son son. At least it has a case, right? I think that this whole scene is a metaphor of our society. We need to protect the video to get uploaded to the internet. That way we can get views. Don't steal my content, bro. Uh, everyone protect the tablet. Season 5. First big showdown of the finale. We see Chosen and Terry Silver. They're in his uh, final battle room, obviously, and they're about to go at it. Here we go. It's so beautiful, beautifully symmetrical. No, I, I like the choreography too. No fast cuts. They're they're fighting. You know, they're they're in it. And usually with these third acts, I think it's just chaos. But this was so well choreographed. I enjoyed every beat of it. I just thought that was they did a really good job. It wasn't like Transformers where you just see machines just like clinking two toys together you know what yeah. i mean like there's i could visually see what's going on yeah they didn't do like fast cuts like at all the cool parts you know like a like a like a low budget power ranger they really he gives a little caesar milan little uh cobra zap you see that yeah, yeah. chosen like zap zap i thought you'd at least prove more of a chance in Russo. i don't want him to lose but it just makes sense for the plot for him not to win but chosen went over the line like he was ready to commit murder once again. He could have murder done it. Murder is a bad thing. He could have murdered Terry Silver. That would have been... But you know Silver's not going to fight fair. You should have known that already. You should have already known that. You should have grabbed something way before then. Chosen fought fair. He could have busted those sides out at any time. Like, he reminds me of Raphael, and, and uh, Silver would remind me of Leonardo. Does Johnny have nunchucks then? He would probably be Michelangelo, to be quite honest. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then Daniel's got a bow. So, obviously, this is a fight to watch. Uh, I would stream this fight. I would actually just crop this fight and just play clips of this. And They won up Karate Kid here. There was blood. We definitely graduated from PG to PG-13 in this episode. Yeah. Great. Unfortunately, Daniel's like finale fight was very tournament-type. Ralph Macchio is an actor, just is like, hey man, I'm not that trained. How do we like make an epic fight? So they have this weird like block a punch with his knee thing. Yeah, it was weird. It, it was like the chopstick scene from Mr. Miyagi, but with yes. an elbow and a knee. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I love how he finishes with the crane cut. The yeah. crane technique needs to just die. Stop forcing that into a movie. You know, he, he did the crane technique in the second movie and Chosen yeah. just grabs his leg and throws it to the side, <laughs> which anyone should do if someone's doing that move. <laughs> Basically, Terry gets exposed. They get the thing uploaded. Everyone kind of watches it. Uh, he rigged the, the, the game. All these kids think yeah. that it, that's bad enough. Terry's did some bad stuff this entire season, but... Him rigging a tournament, like that's crossing the line. Yeah. Is that, that's what made them all lose all respect. And then all the kids just throw their jerseys right like on top of him. And then, of course, I guess Stingray comes clean. And basically, um, that's why Terry yeah. got arrested. Is that why Terry got arrested? Yeah, like, why did Terry get yeah, arrested? Yeah, it was unclear. 
They're like, this season's you know? over. We have to arrest Terry Silver. Like, <laughs> you know, like that's what happened. Yeah, that's exactly what yeah. happened. Um, and then we think the season's over. You know, you get a couple kiss kiss moments from the two couples. So we have that kind of story arcs complete. We find out a chosen never died. And, yeah, then and they didn't take him to the hospital. Didn't take him to the hospital. <laughs> they brought him through. The, yeah, he's all there. hanging out. He's like, oh, I'm fine. I'm just drunk and bleeding out. And then finally we see John Kreese looking like he's in a like a dead guy, like in a, in a body bag. And I don't know how much of this I can really believe. I don't know how much. I like much. the red jello, though, that they brought back the red jello. Yeah. And back into play they had a call back to it that they was cool. did the jello that was cool i am going to have to give this episode a 9.5 Ooh, 9. i would 5. give it 9.5 uh 9.1 imdb rating for season 5 episode 10 of head of the snake 9.5 if you haven't started cobra kai at all start from the beginning and just binge you won't be disappointed i went we're gonna stream all over the place and all over your face Yeah.